Hey guys, I'm going to do a really short video on mixing your sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide uh, by percentage of uh, weight or by weight percentages. <clears throat> We're going to start off by using the amount of water that's actually used out of your gallon of distilled water. Right here, I happen to have Crystal Springs distilled water. So I'm going to turn on my scale. And once it settles out, well, this time it reads 8.5 ounces, but it says 8 pounds and 8.5 ounces. And now it decides to go to 8.6. All right. We're just going to leave it as 8.5, I guess. It's staying steady there. So I'll go ahead and change that to 8.5. I had already written down some of this earlier so that it wasn't too confusing. All right. Now I'm going to pause the video for a second so that I can pour the water into the cell behind it and the reservoir up there. While I do that, I'm going to pause the video and then I'll come back and turn it on and we'll read the after weight, the weight of the water remaining and figure out how much weight we actually used. And then we'll figure out by formula how much uh, sodium hydroxide or uh, potassium hydroxide we actually need to use. All right guys, I've got it so that I've got a little bit of NaOH on the scale right now and I had to drain the uh, cell a little bit of water because it wasn't circulating at all. Uh, the cell even with the 12 volts hooked up as is uh, wasn't producing enough to move around which is expected since it's distilled water but I need a little bit of circulation in order to be able to continue adding uh, NaOH as necessary. Oh, my screen darkened. Alright, hopefully you guys can see that. This is a small, well I can't say the Excel sheet is small, but this is a small spreadsheet on the Excel file that I'm using uh, for all of, for the majority of my hydroxy stuff. <clears throat> By knowing your water weight, we can figure out exactly how much NaOH we need to make uh, mix up into the solution or into the water to make whatever percentage that we that uh, that you need and I've also got on that same you know on in the same column down by the bottom where it says grams used uh, you can actually plug in how many grams of NOH you've used in your water to find out what your percentage by weight is like if I was to use that one gram that I've used so far in the weight of the water that was in the cell, it will have come out to, as you can see there, 0.04% by weight. <clears throat> now obviously we're not going to use that little, but I do want to gradually build this thing up until I get the amperage where I want it uh, for conditioning this cell. So on the small black scale there, I've got about 2 grams worth of NaOH. And the blue scale there is the one that we were using earlier for weighing the water weight. <clears throat> I did have to drain some water back into that gallon jug, uh, which is no big deal because we're going to put it back in after adding the NOH into the reservoir up top. So if you give me a second, I'll go ahead and dump the uh, NOH that I do have on the black scale into the reservoir and then we will uh, proceed on forward from there. All right, hopefully you guys can hear me fine. I uh, had to remove the earbud in order for me to be able to reach. But like I showed, we're gonna use this little bit of NEOH. We're gonna dump it into the reservoir. All right. 
lift this up since it's wanting to curl down. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and add some water. Uh, it did add a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, a second ago. But we're only going to add enough to kind of flush in that sodium, hydro or the sodium hydroxide in there. You know, flow it into the cell. And let's settle down a little bit. back on it. Alright. Speaking of which, where it is? There it is. Now, I seriously doubt those two rims are going to do much of anything, but we're going to try it anyways. <clears throat> Alright, let me move this over so y'all can see. Oh yeah. By the way, what I've got on the bottom of my tripod is a gallon of water suspended from the center post to uh, stabilize the tripod in case any of you guys need to do that to yours. <coughs> All right. Now, we're going to go ahead and turn this back on, figure out how much water is left. We're sitting at two point or two pounds and thirteen point four ounces. So I'm gonna have to redo all this. Two pounds and thirteen point four ounces. All right, I had to pause the video for a second so I could do some math. <clears throat> All right, we started with eight point well, the eight pounds, eight and a half ounces of water to uh, start when the gallon is full. Uh, what was remaining was the two point eight three seven five pounds which left 5.69, which when it came out uh, off the decimal and into uh, empirical, it's five pounds and 11.1 .1 ounces. So now we know that, we're gonna come up here and we're gonna put in, well, five pounds over there. We're gonna change that to 11.1. We put in two grams. So right now we've got still less than a tenth of a percent of sodium hydroxide in the cell. 